The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. We found that rather than looking into portals to see where it went, playtesters would often leap blindly to their doom. In response to this observation, the moral of this puzzle is, look before you leap. The safe warning portal is out of the player's view from this balcony. That forces them to peer through a portal to see it, which trains players in their remote viewing capabilities of portals. Originally, a weighted button was used to open the far door, but playtesters so strongly associated boxes with buttons that they'd get stuck searching hopelessly for a box. We changed the big button to a pedestal-mounted push button, thus removing the box association, but playtesters still had trouble realizing they needed to shoot a portal through the door. Adding a ticking timer sound when the door was open cued players that the puzzle expected them to act during that time, which solved the problem. anticipation for the big moment the player will finally get the fully powered portal gun. The puzzle path brings you in a circle around the device, so that it's virtually always in sight, right up until you grab it. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone down, here. Into Player training doesn't always stick, especially after the introduction of a big new concept. For instance, after they had acquired the fully powered portal device, playtesters often forgot about the fling maneuver. Since it's such an important skill, this puzzle is designed to reintroduce the idea of flinging.
Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. When we moved from largely placeholder art to our final visual design, this was the first level to get a facelift. We chose this map because it had many of our gameplay elements integrated into a relatively small space. The test chamber art direction was designed to make everything appear purposefully placed. The simple design helps focus players on the puzzles. It also provides a nice contrast to the later, much less sterile behind the scenes environments, which contributes to a clear sense of progression. This is the first map in which we experimented with solving the puzzle in as few portal placements as possible. We tried to fit that concept into the story mode, but were never quite able to sell it. Instead of abandoning the idea altogether, we added the concept to a series of post-game challenge maps. previously mentioned required test protocol we can no longer lie to you when the testing is over you will be missed a problem we came across with virtually any puzzle involving boxes and doors was that the players could portal the boxes to the other side of the door thereby trapping themselves in a room with buttons but no boxes we set up special triggers to detect and handle these cases and then added the box delivery tubes to ensure players could always be supplied with the required tools A few playtesters put a portal on the floor here and used the rising stair pit to skip the rest of the puzzle. We'll usually rework a level if playtesters discover a way to bypass chunks of the puzzle too easily, but in this and a few other cases where skipping ahead arguably takes more skill than solving the puzzle properly, we let the ninja solution stand. This is a great spot to appreciate the recursive nature of portals. If you place a portal on, e on each side of this hallway, you'll notice the portals seem to go on forever, similar to the effect you get in a Hall of Mirrors. In actuality, we support a maximum of nine recursive portal views throughout any chain of portals. We achieve the impression of infinite recursion by copying part of the previously rendered frame onto the final portal in the recursive chain. It's not perfect, but it's inexpensive and effective. We designed this room to draw the player's eyes to the box. The light from the observation room casts horizontal shadows that point at the box, which is directly lit by a warm light from the ceiling. This warm light helps the box stand out against the predominantly cool test chamber lighting. The varying size squares of the off-limit surface also help direct the player's attention upward. <laughs> 